Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today I'm going to be showing you something pretty important. I think something that's very, very important to the actual uh, operation of X-Plane and actually enjoying X-Plane. And that is the NOAA weather. And as you can see, XPGFS brings alive the X-Plane atmosphere combining meter reports and or meta or MAT or however you want to say it and NOAA weather data for the whole planet. So I'm going to be showing you first of all how to install this and then I am going to be showing you a little bit of a demonstration by flying around various different airports or at least moving to various different airports and giving you a demonstration of how this works as well as all the little bits and configuration in there. So make sure you stay tuned for the next uh, it's probably going to be a shorter video, so I'd say about 15 minutes for that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, and this is quite uh, important, is this is essentially a three or four part process. Now, first of all, I believe you need a uh, Python for this, but there is a much, much easier way than all of this so you can download that zip file right there then you can go over to this and you can download this zip file right there and then you need to go over to this and you need to install this python interface so you need to go over here and download that and you're probably thinking this is just a, a nightmare much easier way download that windows installer i'm not sure about the mac installer how well it works but i do know the windows installer so make sure you download the windows installer once you've gone ahead and done that all we need to do is go over to wherever you've downloaded it to so as you can see i tried it initially with the with the various different scripts but then i decided no the installer is going to be much easier to show you guys so you go ahead and do that double click that say yes and then what you need to do is you need to select your X-Plane root folder. So, for example, for me, it is uh, that uh, local games slash X-Plane 11. There you go. That's my, that is my default uh, root uh, or root folder, should I say, for X-Plane. Then all you need to do is make sure you've got this installed. Now you can go 32-bit, which will give you the 30 percent 32 bit 64 bit which will swap a cup uh, which will just swap that round or custom where you can uh, put whatever you want on i recommend just going for uh 32 bit or 64 bit depending on what it is and leave it as that open scenery x obviously we've um we've already got open scenery x but you can have that on uh it shouldn't be a problem the scripts update is one of the folders or files that i showed you uh fast plan i am not actually too sure so we'll we'll see how that works. Uh, Xjoy map, it, just leave these in. It's just a good idea. Ground services, you can leave in if you want uh, as extra ground services. Absolutely fine. This one is the main one there. Uh, XGFS, NOAA weather. That Python interface, Python itself, and the scripts updater. Those are the important ones. And then just install it. That's all it is. It takes a few moments. Then all you need to do is go into X-Plane and uh, I'll show you what it's like now uh, when I go into X-Plane. Okay, so I am going to select Echo Golf November X-Ray as our standard airport. I'm also going to go over here and go to track real world date and time. This is something that actually somebody left in the comments. So thank you very much for that. Uh, weather is just going to be clear for now, but watch what happens once we load in. So you can see that we have selected clear weather. Uh, I'm going to ensure that the Beechcroft Baron has the engines off because I just don't want to hear them right now. And then I'm just going to start the flight and you'll see what happens once we load in. Okay, so we're now in to, to the actual uh, sim and you can see it's clearly not uh, clear outside. In fact, if we, if we have a look there, that is not clear weather, even though we did select clear weather. So what's happened? Well, the plugin has actually happened. The plugin is actually working and we've actually got, I did not know that those rotate unless I did, did I, hmm. Anyway, we're, we're not looking at that right now. The plugin must actually be working. So let's have a look. Go over to plugins and you can see right there. We've got the script update to check for that. We've got that. We're not going to worry about that. I am going to use AviTab in a moment. Uh, perhaps I'm not going to look at fast plan FMC. There's the Python interface, uh, w which we can have a look at the control panel for that. As you can see, we don't need to touch anything on that right now. All I want to show you is the configuration for this. So the configuration we have currently 
is enable XP GFS. Yes, that needs to be on, otherwise it's not going to work. Wind levels gives you the different levels of wind at different altitudes. Cloud levels is the same sort of thing. Temperature changes the temperature at different altitudes. Pressure, turbulence, same sort of stuff. Um, the source, leave it as NOAA for uh, offline. If you're online, you might need to change it to VATSIM or IVAO. Uh, turbulence probability, 100%. If you want performance tweaks, if you want to improve your performance, you can change the visibility of the clouds in uh, statute miles and the maximum cloud height in feet. So there we go. There's the status and it tells you what it's picking up and where it's picking it up from. So that's our current latitude and longitude. There we go. Magnetic deviation 0.3. That's the cycle it's looking at. There's the station Echo Golf November X-ray. And there is the actual uh, weather information. So I'm going to compare this to the weather information I have live from Echo Golf November X-ray right now on my phone. Uh, Echo Golf November X-ray 04 1550 Zulu. So that's when it was done. So that's the time and that's the date, the fourth of the month, which is when I'm recording this, which is the day before you're going to see it. Uh, wind is showing 330 at six knots. There we go. Visibility is 9999, which is greater than uh, 10 kilometers. Scattered clouds at 1,000 feet, broken clouds at 1,500 feet. Uh, temperature 14 degrees Celsius, dew point 12 degrees Celsius, QNH 1022 hectopascals. There we go, airport altitude 308 feet, airport distance 2.2 kilometers. I, that must be the runway length, that can't be 2.2 kilometers. And it just gives us everything right there. There's the temperature, there's the dew point, there's the visibility the actual visibility there's our pressure in inches of uh inches of uh, mercury so 3018 on the on the barometer or if you've got it in this it's going to be obviously 1022 there's our winds no gusts there's the clouds base cover so it gives you all the information there there's our wind layers for all of it so going up and up gives you the speed gives you the direction gives you everything you need to know there uh turbulence as well there's our turbulence right there absolutely brilliant now you can send you can stop this uh, anonymous data or whatever this is uh, stats i guess uh, maybe if you need to if you're looking at the internet or something like that but it shouldn't be a problem and you can download the latest data at any point if you i think if you switched off download latest data it will stop it from downloading any new data so it will just take whatever it's currently got for a station and that's it uh, there we go. So that's that. Uh, is there anything? I want to see if you can actually see the wind moving. Where's the windsock? There should be a windsock somewhere here. Uh, where, where are you? There's the windsock. You can just about see it. There's the windsock. So you can see which way the windsock's pointing. It is very accurate. So that's absolutely brilliant. Fantastic stuff there. And I did just see the ailerons move a little bit, uh, just in the wind as it's as it's just blowing around, which is fantastic. Yeah, that's that's absolutely brilliant. And just to double check to make sure this does work, if we go inside and I just switch on the battery, this is where we're going to need uh, the AVI tab. We're going to to toggle that tablet. We're going to go for Echo Golf November X-Ray. Uh, nope, that's not the one I wanted. Let's delete that. Echo Golf November X-Ray. There we go, East Midlands. What's our ATIS? 12822. Thank you. So we're just going to swap this over to 12822. Uh, avionics. I know this is not what you're supposed to do, but uh, 12822. Let's see if that brings it up. East Midlands information. There you go. 1500 Zulu weather. Wind 330 at 6. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 1000 scattered. 5000 broken. Temperature 14. W point four altimeter three now, zero one eight. Looking at that runway zero nine. Departing runway zero nine. Advise on initial contact you have echo. Now looking at that, that's a little bit odd because it hasn't really picked up exactly what we wanted. So that's that's kind of odd, but it has picked up something. So it's got the winds, it's got the visibility, the 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 clouds don't seem to be right. It's got the temperature right. The dew point's wrong. The uh, barometric pressure is correct. And I think, did it have the time correct? East Midlands information. Echo. No, it doesn't tell me the time, of course. Oh, yeah, 1500. Wind 330 at 6. 
visibility more than 10. Yeah, see, so it's not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty close. So let's let's move over to I don't know. Let's let's go to a different airport. So let's go ahead and go to completely different airport, different country. Just to give you a demonstration that this does work as you're moving around. It's not just um, one place, and it's just going to give you that same that same kind of weather. So let's go over to, for example, Los Angeles International. As you can see, it changes the time. So there we go, 8 o'clock in the morning. So we should. Now, between me testing this and this new one, or when I'm recording this, there should have been a change to the reading. So I need to bring up a new reading on my phone, which is exactly what I am doing. And I'll join you once we're in uh, Los Angeles. Well, that was quick. Okay, so here we are in Los Angeles. And we can see, look at that, the station has changed. Uh, the time again they've obviously they've had a, an update and I'm just having a look right now which was at uh, 1553 Zulu uh, which I'm looking at it on my phone as well uh, we've got winds of 230 at 6 uh, visibility of 9 statute miles uh, we have overcast conditions starting at 1100 feet dew point uh, temperature 21 degrees Celsius dew point 17 uh, we've also got what's this um, A2990. That's not one I've come across before. That's definitely not one I've come across before. Uh, but that is the exact same uh, metal that's coming coming along. Uh, in fact, I think that's got to do with... Um, is that got to do with wind wind conditions at the surface? Well, we'll find out, won't we? So, if we go ahead and do the exact same thing here... And we'll pick up the ATIS. Does it give me the ATIS on this? It doesn't. Yeah, so we're going to have to go up here again and go to AviTab. Toggle the tablet. Uh, we don't need you anymore. We're going to... No, don't need you anymore. We're going to go for... Kilo Lima Alpha X-Ray. Los Angeles. What is it? 130-something? 135.65. So let's see what they have to say. And let's see if it matches. Los Angeles International Information Whiskey. 1500 Zulu weather. Okay. Wind to 20 at 6. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 1200 overcast. Temperature to 0. W.18. Altimeter to 990. Arriving runways 25 left. To 4 right. Departing runways 25 right. To 4 left. Advise on initial contact you have whiskey. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got the barometric pressure, which is 2990. That's what that is. A. A. Okay, I don't know why it's got an A on it, but that's the barometric pressure. 2990. Yeah. Um, SLPs. That, doesn't that sound like speed limit point to me? It sounds like speed limit point. Anyway, uh, none of that seems to be counted. What I found interesting about that was that it said 220 at 6 when it's 230 at 6. So there is that. Um, what else? What other information did it actually give me? The temperature was slightly off. I noticed that because the temperature is 2117. It showed, what was it, 2018? I think it was 20 and 18. But anyway, pretty, pretty close. I think that's pretty close. It's not absolutely perfect. Maybe it was rounding it down because the temperature shows there, 20. There, maybe it was 20 and 17, not 21, 17. Maybe that's what it is. So there we go. That's uh, that's that. I'm just trying to work out what the rest of this is. But the point is that this weather does work. As you can see, it's different weather. It hasn't just kept the exact same weather, which is fantastic because that means that we can fly from place to place and get different weather. For example, let's say I was flying from here to... Um, what? Where should we fly? San Francisco. So right now, if we if we go back to search and go for uh, San Francisco, which is what? Uh, KSFA? Nope. Uh, what's San Francisco? Okay, forget, forget San Francisco. Let's go for uh, Chicago. I know that one. Uh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. SFO. SFO is San Francisco, isn't it? There we go. Just remember that. Okay. So let's have a look at the 
uh, information for San Francisco. So we've got that. I don't think we're going to be able to pull up the information for San Francisco from here, are we? What am I doing? That's what I meant to show. All right, we've got this. We can... Can we select a station? No, unfortunately, we can't select a station, but we can check online. So if I go for KSF... Oh, um, weather information. I'm just going to try and tune this as well. I know I'm running the battery, but uh, that's okay. For now, that's okay, that is. Uh, 13545. Let's, let's see if this works. I doubt it. Yeah, we're too far away. Okay, that's fine. So now we can actually have a look online for the current weather at San Francisco and the forecast and know that's exactly what it's going to be. So, for example... Um, Winds are 200 at 5 knots, visibility 9 statute miles, few clouds at 800, overcast uh, 1,100, temperature 16, dew point 12. I'm going to switch that battery off before it kills me. Avionics off, battery off. There we go. Uh, let's see. The barometric pressure is exactly the same at 2,990. So, yeah. It gives us the actual information. Now, if we were to fly from here over to San Francisco, let's say we were taking our uh, lovely Zebo Mod Boeing, which I will be taking a look at, we can now predict the weather at an at another place. And I do wonder if I were to put, if I were to use the Zebo Mod and try and put in the weather, uh, I do wonder if it's going to pick it up. In fact, to end this video, let me try that. I am going to try that. Here's the Zebo Mod. Let's have it with engines running. I'm going to try that. We're going to try and pick up San Francisco's weather. Okay, so here we are. Here we are on in the Zebra mod to end this episode off. And we're going to see if I can pick up uh, some weather. How do I get weather? How do I get weather? I did it last time. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There we go. 80's request. Fantastic. Uh, K. Nope. Clear that. Kilo, Sierra, Foxtrot, Oscar. All right, let's send for that weather and let's see if it picks up the weather that is currently in San Francisco. Ready for it? 04-1556 Zulu. I'm, and now I'm reading it off my phone as well. Wind 200 at 5 knots. There we go. Uh, visibility 9 statute miles few clouds at 800 overcast 11 uh, temperature 16 degrees celsius dew point 12 barometric pressure 29090 um, you know what I used to know what these meant uh, RMK RMK it's a remark of something but what's the remark for I can't remember what the remark is for Something about rain, I think, maybe. I think. Remark, and that's that's an uh, automated remark. But what does that mean? I'm just trying to remember. It's not speed limits, is it? I... Oh, the pressure. Hang on, isn't that pressure at sea level or something? Pressure at sea level, maybe? One, two, four, and then I that I really don't know. I'm not sure about that. Something about temperatures changing, I guess. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, that works. That is our actual ATIS. That's actually what we've got, which is fantastic. So there we go. That is the uh, Explain NOAA GFS weather plugin. Uh, thank you very much to Mr. Joan Perez. Mr. John Perez, I, th I think that's a Mr. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. or however you prefer to be called, Perez, for developing this. It's absolutely fantastic. I think you guys should all go download this. It's absolutely free. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on X-Plane 11. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Hopefully you guys understand uh, this and maybe just learnt a little bit about reading... Um, these stations uh, i do apologize about not figuring out the remarks uh initially but yes i i'm still not 
100% certain on those remarks, but uh, I do know that their remarks really just ends there. That's the action meta that you need to use. Anyway, uh, moving on from that, don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. And if you're not watching this on Twitch, which you're probably not because I don't think I upload these to Twitch, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ecgadget. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram for social media updates at ecgadgetlp. That's all from me. And I'll see you guys next time in X-Plane 11.